first of all, I'm in Colorado for the summer, which is incredible. My parents live here. Um, on my way from Australia, I taught a retreat in Hawaii. Um, I've taught one here in Colorado, and then I have one next month as well uh, in Telluride that I'm very, very excited about. Those are full. Um, but the things that I have that are available is Emerge is coming up in October, which is, I'm sure you've heard me talk about it before. It's just one of my, it's, it is my favorite program. It's a deep self-inquiry program um, of really what it is to be human. Lots of people come with disharmonious uh, relationships with substance. That's kind of my route into this whole recovery and self-reflective um, world, which has literally shifted my life. And other people come to recovery through food, through sex, through recognizing that there's subconstriction in life and that comes in many different forms it's our ability to recognize and to be honest that something's not something isn't working and that we're looking for more space and that's not just with substance that's with so many different things so it's a very diverse crew that come um, which is so important because the power I do believe that the teachings are incredible uh, I do believe that, but I think that a really massive power of it is the community and the kin making. It's our ability to speak what hurts, to speak what helps, and to speak it in community and to also hear our stories out of other people's mouths. That's really, really powerful to be, to see ourselves through others and to have others do the same. Forget about it. It's, it's potent. It's very, very potent. I've seen it over and over. Um, so we look at the human condition through many different lenses. We, through yogic philosophy, of course, and there's a lot of somatic practices. So there'll be some yoga. There's not a yoga course, but there will be like some asana. Um, there'll be somatic inquiry, uh, meditation, mindfulness. There'll be lots of little pra different pra somatic practices, breath work. Um, but we'll be looking through the lens of Buddhism as well, which is a really, really important component of this program. Through neuroscience, through modern psychology, we look at internal family systems, different trauma education, um, mythology, story. Because we did not create this, you know, this challenging human condition. It's part and parcel of the whole thing. And people have been talking about it for thousands of years since we have written record. So it's really interesting to go back and explore these older stories and be like, ah, to find ourselves in them. Because that helps us remember that it's not just, not just like part of in our community, but like part of the human, uh, not experience, but well, part of the human experience, but like not just this way, but like forever and ever back and forever, ever forward that we're just kind of wired with, um, the ability for joy and the ability for sorrow and all the things in between life is always happening and it, we're not doing it wrong. If it hurts, you know, it's just the way that it goes. And once we can recognize that, um, you know, the pain is not personal, then we get a chance to kind of like pull it away from ourselves and look at it and inquire and investigate and give and offer some compassion and love as well. So that's my little spiel on that. It's a beautiful program. It's intensive eight weeks. We meet four times a week. There are replays, but we really encourage live attendance. There's small groups as well. We have big groups. We have small groups. Um, uh, it's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. And this will be my sixth time running it. And it just gets richer and more diverse along the way. Um, so that's the big kahuna program. We'll also be doing wisdom of the shadow again in the beginning of the year. And this is a shorter course. It's uh, five weeks and we just meet once a week. And then there's some recorded content and we explore some of the lesser loved emotions let's say that some lesser embraced emotions and it's a emotional inquiry program somatic as well we explore the soma and the psyche of these emotions the emotions are anger grief shame and envy my personal favorite and also joy yeah so we'll thread that all through and the attempt is not to 
get out of those emotions. It's actually to descend down into them and to meet them where they are. Because when we meet ourselves and we meet things as they are, then, you know, often there's some alchemy. But uh, that's a delicious program. That's me and Christine Calvert. It's really, really amazing. Um, the other big thing is the Mindful School. So we have, that's the training, that is my teacher training school uh, with Jack St. Pierre. And we have a 200 hours, already half full. It's a hybrid program. And we meet for six weeks online. We begin end of January. So for January and February, we meet online. And then we meet in Bali for two weeks at the end of March. And it is such an amazing thing to get the foundations and then get to create community together online. And then we show up in Bali and it's like a re, it feels like a reunion, but then we really dive into the teaching component there. Um, and it's, yeah, the model is really, really nice. So you get the best of both worlds. Jack St. Pierre kind of heads up the online portion and then we'll pop in Kimberly, me, um, Andrew, who's incredible. They're both in Australia. We'll pipe in for the online portion and then we'll be waiting to catch y'all whenever you get to Bali. And that is, that is halfway full, that will sell out soon. And then the next thing that's coming up, which will be um, later in 2025, it's not released yet, but the wait list is open, it'll start in May, is the 300 hour program. And this is delicious. The 200 hour is our foundational program. It's uh, what's necessary to really get the roots and the foundations to teach skillful and creative uh, classes and it is kind of you know it is the entry it is the beginning and then the continual beginning is a 300 hour yeah and this we get to get broader and wider and we explore mythology and we explore yin and we come into tantra um bhakti like we just get deeper and deeper and deeper the path of yoga is never gonna get boring if you can continue to feed your curiosity so the 300 hour has four modules and you can take them all together as a package or you can just come in and take what feels of interest to you. And this is our second time running it. We have an incredible faculty. We've literally like picked the creme de la creme and I learned so much last year and I can't wait to, to do it again. So that's waitlisted. Um, yeah. So lots of good things coming up. Retreats next year, I have a few things in the works. Portugal, Iceland, and then likely Bali and Colorado again. Um, so we'll see, we'll see what's up. The retreats have been beautiful this year. I love them. So we'll get some more on the schedule soon. And that's a lot of things. I love, I love my work. I love getting to do this. This practice has shifted my life. You know, it starts as asana. You know, that's how I was introduced. Um, well, I was introduced in rehab, but with asana, with, with the movement. And it has shifted a hundredfold, a thousandfold. Um, you know, asana is often just the entry point and it will always be, you know, that solid foundation to come back to, that, to come back into the body, come back into like what's here but there's so much more, there's so much more. And uh, yeah, Emerge and the Mindfulest School have been these beautiful, beautiful containers. Oh, yeah, so if you're interested, let me know, reach out. I'm here to chat with you about any of it. We have an incredible team that can give you information as well. And the, our community is continuing to grow. It's worldwide. It's beautiful. I couldn't be happier. And I'll see you on your mat wherever you are, or maybe you come and meet me wherever I am. And let's, uh, let's do this thing.